So in this question, we're dealing with three phase AC power. So the calculations you use here are the same as what we would use in single phase AC power. So you'll be still calculating the angles of uh, and phases of currents, but we're just using them slightly different here in that we're going to calculate the neutral current in a three phase supply. So I think it helps to always sketch out the circuit when you're doing these questions. So we have three phases, L1, L2, and L3. And L3 and are neutral. And in the question, we're given three loads, one connected to each phase. So in our first load, we've got a load drawing 10 amps at a power factor of one. Off of our second load we have, or off our second phase I should say, we have a load drawing 14 amps at a power factor of 0 0.92 lag. And off of our third phase, there's a load of 16 amps at a power factor of 0 0.97 lag. And these are all connected to the neutral. So the question is asking you, based on these three loads, what will the current in our neutral be? So what will IN be? And it just looks for the magnitude of this, so the size of it. So to approach this question, what we do is we take each load individually. That'll be I1, I2, I3. We work out these individually. Then we work out the horizontal and vertical components. And then using those, we work out IN. So let's do that. So first, Let's get the phase of each one of these currents. So we'll do them in order. So for I1, I1 is 10 amps and it has a power factor of one. Now from your formula in your book, you know the power factor is equal to cos theta of, or the phase and this is equal to one. So using the cos inverse of one, we get that the phase of this first uh, current is zero degrees. So you can stick that into your calculator and see that. Now we'll move on to I2. So I2 is 14 amps at a power factor of 0 0.92. So 14 amps, and the power factor, which again is cos theta, is equal to 0 0.92. So just as we did in the first one, if we get the cos inverse of that, it works out at 23.07 degrees. And don't forget that that's lagging. Now for I3. So again, I3 is 16 amps and the power factor or cos theta for this is 0 0.97. So the phase for this one will be the cos inverse of 0 0.97 and that works out at 14.07 degrees and again this is lagging. So I'm also I'm just going to label these angles 1, 1, 2 and 3 just so we're clear which one belongs to which phase. So if we look at this now we have the 
magnitude and phase of each current in each phase. And the question is asking us to work out the neutral current, IN. Now, if you look in your formula book, you'll see there's a formula for the neutral current in a three-phase supply. And it's the horizontal components of the current squared plus the vertical components squared. And we get the square root of all that. So before we get this, we need to work out what IH and IV are. Now where they come from, so just to do a quick sketch, or a phasor diagram of our voltages and our currents. So it's a balanced three-phase system in terms of the voltages. So we've got V1, V2, and V3. And each of these are separated by 120 degrees. Now we can also put our currents on this phasor diagram. So we know that I1 has a phase of zero degrees. So I1 is in phase with V1, the voltage driving the first current. We look at I2 and we see there's an angle of 23.07 lag. So if we want to work out the actual angle of this one, it's going to be minus 120, minus 23.07. So I2 is down here somewhere. Remember, this is just a sketch, it's not to scale. And then I3 is going to be minus 120, minus 120, minus 14.07 so it's going to be somewhere up along here that'll be i3 so when we work out the horizontal and vertical components of these individual currents we're working out how much of the current is in this direction that's the horizontal and how much of it is in the vertical direction and i think it always helps to do a table for these so I1, I2, and I3, and we'll get the horizontal and vertical components here. Now remember, to get the horizontal components, it's whatever the size of the current is, times the cosine of its angle. And the vertical part is the size of the current times the sine of the angle. So let's try this out. For I1, it's 10 amps times the cosine of 0. And if you put that into your calculator, you'll get out that that's just 10, 10 amps. And the vertical component is 10 times the sine of 0, and that'll be 0 amps. Which makes sense, because if we look at our drawing, our quick sketch, we'll see that for I1, it's completely on 0 degrees. So there is no vertical component, it's all in the one direction here. So we'll keep going forward. I2 is 14 amps. And the angle we put in here is going to be minus 120 minus 23.07. So it becomes minus 143.07 degrees. And that comes in at minus 11.19 amps. Same then for a vertical component. Same angle. That comes in at 15, sorry, apologies, minus 8.41 amps. Then for I3, we've got 16 times the cosine. So our angle here is going to be minus 120 
minus 120 minus 14.07. So we have minus 254.07 degrees. And that comes in at minus 4.39 amps. Same here with sine. This one calculates out at 15.39 amps. So if we just look at these very quickly, we see that when I1, it's all in the horizontal, so it's 10 and there's no up, there's no vertical part, so zero. I2 has a negative horizontal part and a negative vertical component. I3 has a slightly negative horizontal component. It's to the left of this vertical part, but it has a positive vertical component. Sorry, just to rephrase that. It has a negative horizontal component and a positive vertical component. Now, to get IH, our horizontal, it's just the sum of these three results. And it comes out at minus 5.58 amps. And then to get IV, the vertical components, it's just the sum of these three. And that comes out at 6.98 amps. And then if we pass these back into this formula, IN will be equal to IH squared plus IV squared. We get minus 5.58 to be squared plus 6.98 to be squared. And get the square root of all of that. And it works out at 8.94 amps. So as the question was looking for the magnitude of IN, it's this value here.